Generals.com. All right, Jeff. So in this quick tutorial, we're gonna basically gonna give you a little breakdown of FL Studio 12, how to use it, and basically how to get started in it. We're not gonna cover every single feature. We're just gonna kind of cover the basics and what you need to know to actually start making a beat, and kind of the basics of how everything works and the workflow in FL Studio 12. So uh, let's get started on that. So the very first thing when you open FL Studio is um, it's how do you want to open it like it has a bunch of different presets and what that you can use so if you go from new from template it gives you a bunch of uh, preloaded templates that they have um, that you can go ahead and uh, load up depending on what you want to do so uh, for the most part in the tutorials we're always going to use the empty uh, pattern just because we want to start basically from scratch and add all our own stuff we don't want effects channels already added we don't want things mixed a certain way and uh, for the most part we're not going to be using stock FL Studio plugins so uh, that's where I would recommend most people start uh, from is just going with the minimal and using the empty uh, once you have it loaded up basically um, and just for this tutorial we're going to use something different just so um, we have some sounds in here I can use and just show you real quick without having to pull uh, other stuff into here uh, but basically over here you have your uh, browser this is where you're going to keep all your sounds right uh, some of you guys might be wondering how to import your own drum kits or whatever the case may be into here well what you want to do is you want to go to options file settings and then you're going to go ahead and just click this little folder and then find whatever um, folder you want to use in here uh, select it and once you have selected it it will pop up over here in alphabetical order so uh, that's how you go ahead and import stuff into there once you have stuff into there uh, whatever it is you know uh, if you want to add it all you do is just click and drag so very very simple to do that um and this over here uh this is called your channel rack uh basically here is where you're going to program all your individual um patterns and melodies and stuff like that so uh, usually when we're using just the channel rack it's going to be just for drums so if you're clicking stuff in here it's basically just going to be drums okay so you have your play your pause and your record up here uh, right here you have your BPM uh, beats per minute. This is basically your tempo. You can select how fast or how slow you want something to play. For hip hop, depending on what you're doing, um, if you're not going double time, you're probably going to stay in between the 70 to 90 range, uh, sometimes even 65. Uh, if you're doing double time, it just depends anywhere from 120 to 160 uh, will work for that. Uh, so let's say you've programmed a pattern into here, um, and this is going to be pretty basic, but let's say this is our pattern, we're going to set to 78. Okay, so that's cool. So how do we actually make a song out of this? We can't just have this same thing playing, you know, the whole time. We want to add uh, different stuff to it. So um, what you're going to do is you're going to open up the playlist. Now the playlist is where you actually lay out your song, right? So you can come in here and actually lay these patterns out how you're going to want them to play. So uh, to play it in uh, the playlist or in song mode, all you want to do is just select this. Okay, and then if you just want to play uh, your actual pattern, you just select this. Okay, and it's a little bit uh, weird to tell right now just because we only have one pattern. Uh, now, how do you add more patterns? Well, all your patterns are going to be over here pretty much. Um, and you can just add new patterns just by hitting the plus symbol. And you can name them right away if you'd like. Uh, you don't have to name them. You can just hit the X. Or you can just scroll to new patterns by going up here, scrolling up or down, or hitting the plus sign. So it just depends on how you want to do it. Uh, so, for example, pattern one, we have drums. Pattern two, maybe you want to add a VST and add some kind of melody. So, uh, there's a couple different ways to add VSTs. You can uh, always right click and then insert and then find your VST. Or uh, in FL Studio 12, you can come over here to the plugin database um, and you can go ahead and find whatever VST you want to add right from over here. So, um, Nexus, I guess, is a popular one. You can just click and drag that over. Uh, now, once you have that in here, um, chances are you're obviously going to want to play a melody with your sound. So there's a couple different ways to do this. Uh, the easiest way to play melodies is you want to go to the piano roll and you can just right click and click piano roll. Or you can come over here and click view piano roll to see it. Um, and in here is where you're going to go ahead and play your melodies. So 
you have all the different notes in here. Maybe this is my... And obviously in every VST you can go ahead and select sound. So just to make it a little less whack, this is just a little demo, but uh, we'll just use a piano. Okay, so I have my melody. Now what I'm going to do is put my melody over uh, basically the uh, my drums in the playlist. So this is basically how I set up my song. Uh, the playlist also allows you to select uh, how long you want clips to play. So let's say over here you want the drums to drop out and just the melody play. You can just do that right from the playlist by shortening stuff up. Uh, so that's pretty simple. Um, over here, this is what pops up the browser. Over here is where you switch uh, back and forth between your wave sounds or you know your drum sounds, different stuff like that, or your VSTs. Uh, you can also uh, see stuff directly in here, um, like if you have a different VST, and uh, you can import your own VSTs. This is you can give you stock the stock ones in FL Studio, but if you want to use your VST and have it pop up in there, all you want to do is just right click and uh, add to plugin database, flag as ferret, and now it will just pop in pop up directly in your generators uh, for some people that makes it easier uh, then you have your mixer uh, pretty simple uh, the master channel is whatever you put on the master channel is going to affect everything in um, so it's going to every little instrument you have in here if you add a reverb everything is going to get a reverb now you have your individual channels so let's say I want to just put a reverb on the snare what you're going to do is oops, uh, you want to come to whatever pattern your snare is on uh, for example right here and uh, you want to assign free mixer track. This is usually how I do it. Um, and now you have the snare on channel four. It'll automatically label it for you, and you can add just stuff to um, the actual snare. So you won't have to affect everything. So if you want to reverb on the snare or whatever uh, the case may be, you can do that or delay, uh, you know, whatever you want to do, basically. <laughs> Over here you can solo or mute sounds okay uh, you can also do that in the mixer track so uh, if you just right click on the sound it'll go ahead and solo it for you the only thing is if you do it in the mixer track everything else will have to be assigned to a mixer track already otherwise it'll still play um, so that's that then you have uh, this will open up projects or whatever you want to do over here plugins um it'll just kind of show you what you recently used the one uh, helpful tool right here is on the current project you can see your history and you can like uh basically do like an undo or a redo type thing so you can go to the beginning or you can go to the end um if you messed up or something like that you can do that uh these are your channel controls so you guys will see in the advanced tutorials we'll use this from everything from channel pitching to shortening a sound up uh maybe you know making a sound not as rough or coming in a little bit differently um, you can turn stuff up in here as well, um, pan it, and a bunch of different stuff, and we'll cover a lot of this in the advanced tutorials, but uh, that is here. You have echoes and delays in here as well, which we really don't use. Uh, cool little feature is that you have a built-in arpeggiator in here, so if you have a sound and you want to arpeggiate it, uh, for example, if I wanted to arpeggiate this Nexus, uh, what you're going to do is come in here, go to your arpeggiator, and just go up. So this will just now... Uh, play whatever little sound you want and uh, just one second so oops I got the arpeggiator on over here but basically it'll repeat in whatever pattern you want and you can choose chords you can choose it to go up to go down uh, to kind of do a variation so it's a re really easy way to make melodies and stuff um, it's kind of basic but it works sometimes um, and then this is going to be your tap window. This is where you can tap sounds out. Um, if you're looking for a BPM of a certain, certain project or whatever, you can tap it out. Uh, over here, another important thing is your MIDI settings. This will show what you have connected and to enable something, you just hit enable 
and now go have your um your uh midi controller whatever you're enabling playing and you can use that to control sounds um let's see what else you guys should know recover the bpm i'll count down before recording this is pretty helpful if you're going to record something this will give you a countdown uh, just so you can keep time so uh, let's say I wanted to record a melody on this Nexus uh, before, just just so it doesn't start automatically. I'll have a little countdown just so I can keep beat. Okay, so real simple. And uh, my, I haven't set up the late latency or the um, the snap in here. For the most part, you're going to want to keep your snap on one-fourth of a beat when you're recording melodies. Uh, if you have something that's going to be a little more loose, obviously the grid gets a little more loose like this. Um, if you go to half-step, you can use that. So the majority of the time, we're going to be using one-fourth of a beat or a half-step. Uh, also, if you're clicking stuff in here and you want something to be a little bit quicker, half-step is going to give you the option to make a little bit quicker notes versus, you know, going one-fourth beat. You're going to get, you know, fourth notes or stuff that's a little bit longer. Uh, so pretty simple right there um, to delete stuff just right click and that applies for the patterns as well so if I want to just take some out just uh, all you have to do is right click and just uh, scroll over it and it'll remove it uh, these are your volume settings so how loud or how quiet you want something to be panning uh, do you want it to play out of your left speaker out of your right speaker or the center which will play out of both of them um, the swing uh, the swing is something that we don't really use often just because it's a little bit harder to control through here and there's different methods you can use uh, where it's going to be a lot more precise uh, but basically the swing is going to just shift your notes to uh, usually the right a little bit just so you have a little more of a groove that's not so robotic I guess so here's what that sounds like if you turn the swing up And we don't use this because it'll shift everything. Uh, there's different ways to do it, and you guys will see that in advanced tutorials. Uh, if you want a bit of a longer, um, a longer kind of uh, area to work with, all you have to do is just drag it out now, and you'll just have everything pretty simple. Uh, they'll activate as you click in. Um, now, keep in mind if you do uh, make something bigger or you know extend it out like I just did. Um, and I'm just doing random stuff, so don't pay attention to what it sounds like too much. But uh, now in your playlist, you guys see how uh, it's longer over here. So you'll have to adjust it in there as well accordingly. Um, and that pretty much covers for the most part. BPM, you know, stop, play, record. Uh, pretty self-explanatory. And quantize. This is basically when people tell you to quantize. This is what's going to control how your notes snap to the grid uh, at what pace, like I explained. And then you also, in your piano roll... Uh, if you just hit Alt and Q, that'll pop up another um, quantize which you can use. Uh, so that'll just basically keep you on beat. Uh, down here you have your levels and your velocities of how uh, short or I mean how loud or how low you want something. If you right click it, you can also pan stuff. So if you want to just pan an individual note to the left, uh, great for snare rolls, hi hat, different things like that. So if you just want you know your snare roll coming from the left side, and maybe this is whatever. This is obviously capable. Maybe this is your snare roll and you want it going left to right or right to left. This is where you would do that. You can just control that in there. And yeah, so this pretty much covers how, how you would get started with this. It's pretty simple. FL Studio makes it very easy to kind of navigate stuff. Um, another little helpful feature, just real quick, is you can undo stuff just in the edit stuff real quick. Um, all right, and that pretty much covers the basics of FL Studio. It's a great program to use. Very, very powerful as you guys learn stuff. If you're a beginner, uh, definitely get familiar with it. These tutorials will help you a lot and just get you to a great point. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys learned something new. Until next time, bjones.com.